so I haven't done a video in a while. I'm not very good to them, but I figured I'd at least try because uh, I thought this would be kind of fun. So recently, uh, my other car died, cracked a head. So I was like, I need another beater to get to work. And behold, the $200 Nissan Sentra. And yes, the roof is taped, but picked this up for 200 bucks and it's not bad need a new clutch cable a few other things a CV axle but nothing bad they thought the transmission was going out because it wouldn't shift well but it was just the clutch cable was dead so got a new one of those and fix that problem and I figured I may as well have some fun because I'm gonna go rally cross it it's gonna be rally car so this is a $200 rally cross build Everything's gonna be dirt cheap, and it's gonna be cool. And uh, normally, I would do it in the garage. The garage is kind of being hogged up right now by another project. So, kind of puts a halter on that plan. Should have started filming earlier, but I uh, had some problems with the camera. And I'll do a full introduction later, but right now the roof, oh, I can see it, it's all primed right now. But the uh, roof was all rusted just this whole entire front piece so i've been sanding that down and prepping it and stuff like that painting and uh yes those are pants i know that's things that end up in the scrap bin but I decided you know what the heck instead of just repainting white let's go black black with a white car that looks cool right and so we're doing a, i've got a white and black theme sort of going on here I mean, look at those black steelies, right? Oh, pristine, so nice. But, uh, so I'll keep you updated on that. I gotta finish taping it off and do another coat of primer, sand that, and we'll get you a little bit of build here. Show you how to paint your roof, maybe. I mean, it's not the high quality. It's um, Rust-Oleum. It's the high quality AutoZone paint job. I haven't tried this stuff before. So we're gonna try that. All right, so it's taped off. Uh, I just gotta do a bit more primer, finish prepping the rest of the roof, stuff like that. And I swear, it's like, why is it always pants? But apparently I just have lots of pants in our rag drawer. But hey, they work well. I mean, look at it, they cover the whole thing. So I mean, finally some pants are useful for something. I mean, besides keeping clothes on you. But you know, painting is more important. So I'm gonna uh, sand that, give it a bit of a wash with some paint thinner and prep this. Prime this area one more time with the filler primer and sand it down. Uh, update you guys in a sec. All right, cool. So I got all the other little rest spots, areas that needed a bit more extra primer than maybe the rest of the area, and uh, gave another bit of sanding, so it's pretty smooth. Uh, I'm gonna go over this one final time. I know I, I think I said that was the last time. But we're going to go over it one more time, just because prep is not a bad thing. And I hate when things look, come out badly, but if this goes around, maybe I'll just get a wrap and do another video on that, because that's kind of cool, right? So I'll probably just do a light dusting and primer over the rest of the roof, because I'm almost out, and because of budget. So, I'm going to try that out. We'll see how that goes. That should be interesting. Alright, so, like I said, I just did a very... Light dusting. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but uh, just dusted the top really, not much. Went over that again. And, oh, because of ran out so stuff seemed to work well. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna go over it really light with sanding and just smooth it out, make sure there's no gritty finish, and then use paint thinner and a rag, get all that dust off. And then we'll try it with some black, but you know, it's cool. So hopefully it'll end up well. And then, um, have you guys ever seen this inside one of these? I've always been curious. I've never opened one up. I know it's probably just messy. So you know what? It's just, just cause, just cause I can, you know. But just cause you can doesn't mean you always should. Got this uh, gasket scraper, not the right tool. I know some of you guys are probably gonna be like, "What are you doing?" Oh my goodness gracious! That was not what I was expected. Oh, look at that. 
Just barely. That was kind of cool. There was a lot more pressure left in that thing than I thought there was. Yeah, so that's that. Anyways, back to this. No, that was your five seconds of entertainment. Hear me scream, whatever. Dust. All sanded and clean. My hands are gray, but this thing feels like smooth as, well, baby's bottom, I guess. It's pretty darn smooth. So it's ready now for the first coat of black. It's gonna start out really light and then uh, progressively get heavier until I'm happy with it. Just hopefully weather holds out and there isn't any rain or anything like that, because that would suck. And we'll see how it turns out if it actually looks decent or just, well, crappy. But if it turns out crappy, that gives me excuses to try out other methods. So, hey, whatever. Well, there's the first coat. So it's pretty light, so it's pretty splotchy right now. Uh, it's not the best looking right now, but that's what more coats are for. Smooth it out, make it look better. But so far, just looking at it, I think it's going to look... Yeah, I'm going to trip over a plant. Uh, I think it's going to look pretty sweet. And yeah, it's by no means perfect. It really isn't. But it still needs a few more coats, and then maybe we'll do a wet sand or, or color buff or whatever you want to call it. And so just trying things out, you know, because I can, because it's cheap. Because I can do what I want. But I like it. So we'll try a couple more coats once this one finishes drying. Or tacking up, I suppose, if you want to do it the correct way. We'll do another coat slightly heavier so we can get it to look more even. My arm's tired. I realize you. Like, holy cow, my right arm feels dead. But, on the bright side, now it probably looks decent in the camera, but it got a little breezy and it was messing with it. So, some areas, like the wind was blowing, so I had to get closer, then all of a sudden it would go away, and then it's like splotchy, and I don't know if and there's some stuff in it. A lot of orange peel. Lots. So, it's definitely gonna need some wet sand, and that's, that's my worst mess up right there. But, it really kind of, I mean, if you're not, it's like a six foot paint job, you know what I mean? Maybe four feet if I'm lucky. So it's like, oh yeah, from right here, oh yeah, that looks killer. Like, whoa. But you know, you get up here and it's like, oh my goodness, what is, what is wrong with this? So drying out, so it's definitely going to need uh, some wet sand and some buffing, stuff like that. But if we do that, and even if it just comes out and makes it a little bit smoother and gets rid of most of these little stupid air bubbles and areas I messed up, I'd be happy with it. I mean, it really doesn't look too bad from my perspective. And yeah, it's not high quality. Yeah, I should have used a paint gun. I have one, but I mean, it was like 15 bucks. That's hard to argue with. And it got rid of that awful rust, but I hate rust. And I think that getting rid of that rust put alone just made it worth it, so. Uh, probably gonna touch it up a few more times, let it dry, and then it's time to see what it really looks like. Curse you little insects for ruining my paint job. Eh. Alright, so I think I got it as best as I could. It's not perfect, and I get that. But it's okay, I don't even care. Because beater and ricer, kind of. It is ricer, it's okay, I burnt rice. It's alright. It's alright. But uh, I think I about, got about as best as I could. I'm definitely going to have to do some uh, wet sanding, color buffing, etc. Stuff like that. So that's not a big deal. I can make it look better. And like I said, it looks fine from like six feet away. It's like, oh yeah, that's a nice paint job. And if you get closer, then yeah, it looks like crap. Oh, well, yeah. So if you're, if you're not standing at it close, yeah, it's cool. But if you get up close, it's there. But it's not a big deal to me. It really isn't. So I'm going to color buff it and other stuff later, but I gotta wait for a few days. I'm probably, I'm gonna wait for a few days probably, make sure it's fully dried out, and then who knows, maybe I'll add a clear coat too, because clear coats are good, and I know if you guys are watching this, you're probably gonna be like, comment, and be like, keyboard warriors, and be like, you should have done this, and this, you know, I don't care. I just don't. So, I'm not gonna show you guys it yet, I'm gonna peel it off, and then we'll do like, some reveal thing. Ooh, now that's getting funky. But anyways, that's that for you guys. Even with all this tape, they're still sticking over spray. Ah. Uh. Alright, so overall, I'm really happy with it. I think that looks so much better. Makes it look cleaner. Everything. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. 
And uh, it's still not fully dried yet. Still needs some work. Like I said, I got stupid overspray on this and I tried to clean it off as best I could. So if any of you guys know any good tricks to getting off overspray, let me know. And uh, oh, the line worker will always use the green tape. Frog tape, the frog tape is the best. But if you if you don't have 3M stuff works well too. And yeah. So it turned out good, so I'll definitely do some more work on it. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Alright, hey guys, so I ended that video awfully. Yeah, so I had to leave really fast and so I didn't really get to properly finish it. And yeah. So this is just kind of an ending to it. It's not done, I still need to do a clear coat. I haven't done yet. I've got other things going on. I've got all sorts of things going on. I've got some really cool things that I've done for this car that I bought that I plan on uploading videos for. I have sucked at uploading videos in the past because I want to do that originally. So I'm trying this all out again. I've got some other cool content coming. That's my plan. So if you kind of like this, I, I promise I'm on better quality. This video was a, little, was a little on the iffy side and that's being honest. So I'm going to try to do better in my editing and my video <laughs> skills. Sorry, they're not like that, but you know, uh, yeah. So if you, if you like it at all, you know, if you have any ideas, suggestions, I, uh, things I could do for videos, sort of things, budget, things that you guys maybe want to see, and I'll give it a whack to see if I can even do it, you know, comment, let me know. I'd be happy to try things out. I think it'd be cool. So just... Let me know if you guys think there's anything that I should try to do, if there's any ideas, or if you think I'm a ricer. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. But, you know, subscribe, like it, and I promise I will try to do better in the next one. Thanks, you guys.